welcome. Welcome to Grace's Tuesday Children's Message. Welcome to the church basement. Welcome to all. Now you might be wondering, what's with the welcome sign? And why all the welcoming? And I will get to that in a minute. But first I have some announcements. The first one is that families, families should all be receiving a postcard in the mail that's all about Vacation Bible School. And the program we're doing this year is an at-home program. So we're calling it VBSX, which means the Vacation Bible School Experience Delivered to Your Door. So all the information is on the card the information on where to register and when to register by and the churches that are involved and all that good stuff. And we ask that families register by June 30th. So we have time to make sure we know how all the materials that we're going to need to order and, and prepare all those packets that we will then be delivering on a weekly basis starting July 12th. So for five weeks, you're going to get a once a week Bible lesson to and with activities to do at home and Zoom get-togethers to tune into if you want to, um, and a whole bunch of cool stuff. So we really hope that families are excited about this new chance to have VBS delivered in a new way right to their, right to their door. Um, an email will also be sent with all this information, so just be watching for either the postcard or the email and get your, your family registered. So the second announcement that I have is that tomorrow night, we will be doing another parking lot service. We did one last week in the West parking lot. It was lovely. It was really nice to see people. And, and even though we were distanced and in cars and kind of sitting far apart, it was still awesome to be all together. We are going to do another parking lot service in the East parking lot this week, um, 630. You simply drive in. You can stay in your car and tune your radio to uh, the radio station that will give you or you can bring chairs and kind of sit outside of your vehicle, still kind of staying distanced. We do ask that people wear masks, especially if you're sitting outside. So join us for that. We'll listen to some music, we'll hear the word of God, and we'll have communion again. So hope to see some families there. That would be really cool. That's tomorrow night. Um, my next announcement is about the fact that I will not be here for that service tomorrow. And I will not be here on Sunday for a children's message so because I'm going to the Boundary Waters with our Boundary Waters group. We have five youth going and three adults, and I'm super excited that we're still able to do that. We, we talked about how we're going to do that as safely as possible, um, and we will be gone. So please keep us in your prayers as we travel to the Boundary Waters where we'll be experiencing God out in like just this beautiful place. We'll be having fellowship with one another. Um, we'll be having Bible study together. So please, please keep us in your prayers. And then next Tuesday at 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a parking lot get together for fifth and sixth graders. So any kids going into fifth and sixth grade next year, so remember going into fifth and sixth grade, are welcome to come and hang out in the West parking lot with me. I'll have some games and some different thing, fun things for us to do, and we'll just kind of hang out and get to see each other. So that's from 5 to 6 next Tuesday, and I believe that's June 30th. So I hope to see a lot of you there. I think that's it for my announcements. So back to the whole welcome thing. Now I think what I'm going to do is just read the Bible verse for today, the gospel lesson for this Sunday, and maybe you'll get an idea of why I'm making such a big deal out of welcome. So our gospel lesson for this Sunday is Matthew chapter 10, verses 40 through 42. And you know how to find Matthew because it's the first book in the New Testament. And so if you're at home with your Bible, you find the book of Matthew, find chapter 10, and we go to verse 40. And here's what it says. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. 
And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of a righteous, of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose the reward. So I don't know if you were listening, but there's a whole lot of welcoming in this verse. In fact, it talks, it says welcome six times in this verse. So I think that that kind of tells us something that Jesus is trying to make sure we know is important, right? So Jesus is telling his disciples that if they are welcomed, then it's like Jesus is being welcomed, and then the one who sent him is being welcomed, which is God. Now, this gospel lesson perfectly fits with the part of the mission statement that we're going to talk about next. So over the last few weeks, we've been talking about this thing that we say at the end of every church service here at Grace, where we say we will go as spirit-filled disciples of Jesus Christ, committed to change the world by God's grace through worship, education, mission, and ministry. But what does all of that mean? And we've been talking about that. So we've been talking about, we will go. We will go. We will have, take action as spirit-filled. We will be filled with the Holy Spirit and therefore given the power. So we're like superheroes, right? So we will go as spirit-filled. And the next part of the statement is disciples of Jesus Christ. So what does that mean? What does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus Christ? So in Jesus' time... A disciple, now we think about the disciples of Jesus, but a disciple was a student. A disciple was somebody that learned a skill from somebody else, from a master, and then lived out that skill, used that skill, lived it out. So there might have been a disciple of bread making, and that student learned all about bread making and had all the skills to make bread. And they didn't do that just to sit back and say, well, that was really nice that I learned how to make bread, but I'm not going to use those skills. No, they were expected to live out those skills, to use those skills and be a bread maker. So when it, if it's a disciple of Jesus, the disciples were learning from Jesus. He was their master. He was their teacher. And they were learning the things that they were supposed to live out. Now, we are disciples today. We say it every Sunday, disciples of Jesus Christ. We will be disciples of Jesus Christ. So if we're saying that, we're saying that we're going to be students of Jesus. We're going to learn from Jesus. We're going to learn from the Bible. We're going to learn from each other. We're going to be open to learning. We're going to be students. And then not only that, but we're going to take what we learn and we're going to live it out. And so we know, we know that the number one teaching of Jesus is to love God and love your neighbor. The most important commandments he talks about. Love God and love your neighbor. And clearly based on the gospel lesson, we're to welcome. We are to welcome. And welcoming doesn't mean just into a building or into your home. Welcoming means welcoming into God's love. We are to welcome all people into God's love. So he even talks about at the very end of this verse, Jesus says, and whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones. Now we might be talking about children and certainly in Jesus's time, children were kind of, you know, they were looked down upon. They weren't very important. Um, and he could also be talking about the least of these. The little ones, the least of these, the people who are outcast, the people on the outside. So if you offer a cup of cold water to even the least of these, he, he's saying how important that is. So that also tells us that we are to welcome all people into God's love. And especially we are to welcome those on the outside, the least of these, those who have been treated poorly, those who people see as different, those who people look down upon. We are to welcome them because Jesus did that all the time. He was always welcoming and showing love towards the outcast, towards the people who others really look down upon. So that's what we need to learn. That is what we're learning as disciples of Jesus Christ is to welcome and to love our neighbor. 
So my challenge to you this week is to create a super cool welcome sign of your own. You could put it up on your front door or the door to your room or just hang it up to remind yourself of what it is to be a disciple of Jesus Christ and what it is to welcome, to welcome all people into God's love. All right, so we're going to close with a song. And you guys know the song about this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And so that's all about being a disciple of Jesus Christ, of course, because we are the light of the world. If there's darkness in the world, we can shine light on that darkness. We can be disciples of Jesus Christ and share God's love. Now this, we're not singing this little light of mine. This song is called, You Are the Light of the World. And it's pretty easy. I'll say the words for you first, and I'll sing it through once, and then we'll sing it through together. So the words are, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. So let your light shine upon all, for you are the light of the world. All right, so let's sing it now. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. So let your light shine upon all, for you are the light of the world. All right, so you kind of heard the tune, you kind of heard the words. So let's sing it together. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. So let your light shine upon all, for you are the light of the world. And like I always say, sing that song, get it in your head today, teach it to somebody else. Um, and remember to be God's light in the world as disciples of Jesus Christ. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I will see you next Tuesday for another children's message. Bye-bye.